Usain Bolt defends his title as the world's fastest man at the Rio de Janeiro Games on Sunday and golf is handing out its first Olympic medals in 112 years. In the latest embarrassment to the Southern Hemisphere's first Olympics, the U.S. Olympic Committee said Ryan Locke and three other American swimmers were robbed by armed men who stopped their taxi hours after the final night of swimming. The Olympics has struggled with a litany of problems as the Games hit their midway point, including empty seats, long lines, stray bullets the killing of a policeman in a favela, brazen muggings, an attack on a media bus, spotty weather, snarled traffic and green water. Synchronized swimmers were greeted Sunday by clear blue water in the pool after officials worked through the night to replace the murky green water that prompted competitors to dub it the swamp. As day nine of the games dawned on a sunny Sunday morning, Justin Rose took a one-shot lead over Henrik Stenson into the final round of golf. Jemima Jelagotsungong became the first Kenyan to win the women's Olympic marathon, a race that featured Estonian triplets who entertained themselves and others with an in-sync dance with their flag draped over six shoulders. The first match of the Olympic wrestling tournament produced one of the biggest upsets of the Rio Games, Shinobu Oda of Japan's done seven-time world champion and 2012 Olympic gold medalist Hamid Zorian of Iran 5-4 in the opening set of Greco-Roman bouts. Later Sunday. Simone Biles looks to add a third Olympic gymnastics gold medal, and Murray tries to become the first man to win two singles gold medals in tennis and at track, a showdown in the 400 final pit slot Sean Merritt, Cronny James and Wade Van Niekerk. The U.S. men's basketball team closes the preliminary round against France. With a win, the Americans gain a top seed for the quarterfinals amid questions about whether they can still dominate the field after back-to-back -back close calls. Other highlights from day nine. Sungong's sidestep, Sungong had to evade a protester on her way to delivering Kenya's first gold in Rio, one which may have been saved by the swift intervention of security forces with a kilometer to go. A man leapt over the railings waving a sign and two police motorbikes instantly cut him off. The protester then jumped over fencing as Sungong kept going. Wrestling with wrestling? It looked like a new sport when the wrestlers took the mat. The world's oldest sport underwent major changes after being forced to apply for reinstatement to the Olympic program in 2013. Matches now feature two three-minute periods with cumulative scoring. So, no more sitting on leads like in the old best-of-three format. Choppy waters? While worries about water pollution marked the run-up to the Rio Games, it was really the whipping wind that stirred up trouble during Olympic rowing. For the first time since 1996, the Olympic regatta was not held in a purpose-built lake, but a natural lagoon that left rowers exposed to the elements in new ways.